We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. We are the foundation. Bulletproof the hating from the plantation. We built the whole nation. You was popping foundational family. I was gonna wait till tomorrow night to do this video, but this Pan-African idiot pissed me off. Marcel Dixon has a new YouTube page. He's doing a new podcast. And his first ever video interview was interviewing Dr. Umar Johnson. It started out as an interview, but later on into the interview, it turned into like a little mini debate when Marcel asked him about his Pan-African views on reparations. The debate got a little bit heated, but Marcel ethered Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm going to leave the link in the description so y'all can go watch the whole video and subscribe to Marcel Dixon's new YouTube page. I'm only going to play a couple of minutes of this debate because this is Marcel's first video so I don't want to use too much of his content. I'm going to let you go to his page and watch the whole thing. This video is fair use and of course, roll the footage. Still feel that reparations in America is for all African people. Well, for me, coming from a Pan-African standpoint, and I offer no apologies, just as I've said in my message in Jamaica, just as I said in my message in Guadeloupe, just as I said in my message in Ethiopia, just as I said in my message in South Africa, and just as I'll say in my message this weekend in Barbados and next week in the U.S. Virgin Islands, there was one slavery that took African people from one continent and scattered us all around the world. And because there was one slavery, there should be one organized reparations movement. And even if Negroes are still in love with being separate from one another, instead of operating as a single race, we should still at least collaborate and communicate with each other so that the white power structures of the world who you were, who were going to for these reparations cannot play the divide and conquer, separate and rule tactic because there's no collaboration amongst the figures and no collaboration amongst the demands. So for me, I will never agree with any of the movements until we have one uh, organized global reparations movement. I think that would be the most effective and it would be most comprehensive. But to your point, as it relates to the American African situation, the truth of the matter is African people from the Caribbean contributed to the greatness of America. Uh, DJ, um, uh, B.J. Herc, the father of uh, hip hop, he is of Jamaican origin. When we go to uh, nationalism, Marcus Garvey, the greatest black organizer of all time who built the movement from New York City, he was of Jamaican origin. When you look at the uh, Harlem Renaissance, many of the writers and the poets and the actresses and actresses and, uh, of the Harlem Renaissance, they came from across the Caribbean. They came from uh, even from Africa. So my point is you cannot delineate where Blackness begins and where blackness ends, even in the Civil War. Many of the soldiers who fought in the Civil War for African people to be free, many of them came from the island of Haiti. They were brought here by the slave masters when they fled Haiti, and many of them ended up in the war. There were even Africans in the Civil War from Africa who were here. So for me, we have to be very careful about this definition of what an American African is because there are no true, no true demarcations. Just as we contribute to African culture today, African culture contributes to us today. And trying to separate who is Caribbean African versus who is an American African is a slippery slope because in the transatlantic slave trade, most of our ancestors were taken from Africa to the Caribbean islands. That's where you were broken. And after you were broken, quote unquote, in the Caribbean islands, you were then brought to the colonies. Only about 25% of Africans came directly from Africa to the United States. Most of our ancestors came from the Caribbean islands. Even the vessel that showed up in Jamestown, Virginia on August the 20th, 1619, that vessel was en route from a Caribbean island. So we just have to keep in mind that, you know, for me, I don't have an issue with folks delineating because if the Caribbean is going to delineate and if the continent is going to delineate. I don't have a problem with the American African delineating. I'm simply saying there are no sure dividers when it comes uh, to dictating or determining or defining who is an enslaved, uh, who is a descendant of an enslaved African in America versus someone who should be excluded because they have African or Caribbean ancestry, particularly Caribbean ancestry, because slavery started there longer before we got here. So many of us came directly from those parts. So what makes me a, uh, you know, American African versus a Caribbean African 
when I got roots from the Caribbean. So it gets kind of deep. And that's another reason why I think we need to have, you know, regional organization with the reparations movement. And of course, I would prefer a global universal approach to the reparations movement. Tell the babble. Now, before I get started, YouTube, this is not hate speech. I repeat, YouTube, this is not hate speech. I'm simply offering a rebuttal to the Dr. Umar Johnson interview, YouTube. I'm simply stating my opinion mixed with historical facts to put things into proper perspective, YouTube. Okay, YouTube? Now, Dr. Umar Johnson is notorious for speaking so intellectually while mixing truth with lies. That's what he's known for. He said this should be a global reparations movement movement for all black people. That don't make sense, Dr. Umar. Why do black Americans have to do all the work to feed everybody? Make this make sense, Dr. Umar. Why do we have to do all the footwork and then everybody else gets paid? That don't make sense. All these other black groups on planet Earth are not our responsibility. Why does the United States government have to pay the Haitians the reparations that's due to, due to them by France? That don't make sense. Why does the United States government have to pay reparations to Trinidad and Jamaica that's due to them by England? That don't make sense. Why does the United States government have to pay the reparations due to Afro-Latinos by the Spaniards? That don't make sense. The United States government does not owe those people anything. He said it was one global slave trade. That don't make sense neither. There was one global slave trade by different countries, different governments. I can see it was only one country that did the slave trade. It was multiple governments, multiple countries that were involved in the transatlantic, transatlantic slave trade. You can't put all that together in one pot, shake it up, and get one global reparations. That don't make sense. These damn pan-Africanists are always calling other people from other countries our brothers and sisters. Since when does somebody having a similar skin tone to you make them your brothers or sisters? No matter what they think about you, no matter how they view you, no matter the fact that they literally never did nothing for your people, but they are brothers and sisters. Even if they say, we eat slave food, oh, bro, that's my sister, because she black. Even if they say, those black Americans have no culture, but that's our brother, because he black. Even if they say, if you vote for me, I'll put it in the Black History Month. But that's our brother, because he black. We're supposed to disregard all that disrespect. Act like we ain't seen nothing and view them as brothers and sisters just because they black. Can you pin African this niggas make this make sense to me? He's talking about divide and conquer. How many times is us FBA said this one I'm about to say right here how can you divide something that was never together when were all black people on planet earth together Dr. Umar when I'll make it easy on you when on the entire history of the planet earth were all black people united as one when I'll give you the, the whole the whole History of humanity, going back to Adam and Eve's. When, Dr. Um, when, Pan Africanists, when will all black people on earth united as one? When? I'll wait. 
crickets. This is a reach here female that I've known personally for 23 years. Let me tell you this, Dr. Umar. Did you know that the Eritreans and the Ethiopians cannot stand each other? Dr. Umar, did you know that the Ethiopians committed a genocide against the Eritreans? Did you know that, Dr. Umar? They don't go by black. They go by lineage. Af How can you be Pan-African when Africa ain't even Pan-African? That don't make sense. Those islands in the Caribbean, they don't rock with each other neither. Did you know that, Dr. Omar? With your delusional fantasy having ass? There is no global blackness, Dr. Omar. And the majority of the people, of the so called black people in other countries, don't call themselves black. They either refer to themselves by their nationality or ethnic origin, lineage. But when we do it, it's a problem. Nobody in the United States deserves reparations from the United States government except the foundational black Americans. We don't have time to try to hold hands with black people all around the planet and to get the other European countries that enslaved and colonized them to get together and give everybody reparations. We don't got time for that, Dr. Umar. There's only one group of people on the entire history of the planet Earth that got their entire slate wiped clean, had to start all over again and created a culture that totally dominated and influenced the entire planet. And that's the foundational black Americans. The only people on the history in the history of the planet Earth whose entire slate was white completely clean. We lost everything. Had to start from scratch and created a, a culture that totally dominated and influenced the entire planet Earth. You can't name one other group in the history of the world that ever did that, Dr. Umar. Nobody except for the foundation of black Americans. And the whole time, these other groups you're mentioning, they never did nothing for us. No other group as a group ever did anything for foundational black Americans. How y'all act like we old people? We don't know nobody nothing. We did for them. All the bullshit we went through for these past 20 years in the United States, nobody put on a cape that came to save us. It was just us by ourselves. Just us. And now you're like, it's our job to feed everybody. It's our job to feed groups who never did nothing for us ever in the history of the world. That don't make sense. Your pan African these niggas are delusional. Do you see foundational black Americans trying to dip our noses into the Caribbean's CARICOM claim? Do you see? No, we're minding our business, even though technically. We are owed some of that CARICOM reparations, and I'm going to make a video on that, too. Why do you say that? Channel Raw? Oh, did you forget? From 1619 to 1776, the black Americans worked for free as slaves under the British Empire? Oh, yeah, nigga. If y'all keep this up, we gonna want it on our CARICOM too. We gonna do y'all like y'all doing us, trying to dabble in y'all shit. Keep it up. And did y'all hear how hard Dr. Umar is trying to cater for these tethers? Trying to take away our culture and just put it in the hands of tethers. Talk about 
And DJ, you know the nigga name. DJ Hurt was the the, the, the godfather? No, no, nigga. Cool Hurt is not the godfather of hip hop. He threw a party in 1970, whatever, playing black American music. The elements of hip hop have existed decades before the 70s. Foundational black Americans are the only group that has other multiple groups trying to dabble into our culture and claim history for our culture. We got the Latinos trying to claim our culture. We got the Jamaicans trying to claim our culture. Do y'all see how great y'all culture is, FBA? And no, YouTube, this is not hate speech. This is an editorial, YouTube. I'm stating my opinion mixed with historical facts, YouTube. Let's get that out the way. And did y'all hear how you brought up Marcus Garvey and all these other tethers that's so called contributed to black American culture and American culture and history? What's the common what's the common denominator here? All the people he spoke about migrated from other countries and tethered themselves to black Americans. Tell me I'm lying. They came running to us for support and to get put on. Now all of a sudden, they want to lay claim to our history and culture. Yo, they came running to us. We didn't go to them. Did you hear Dr. Omar say there were Haitians that fought in the Civil War? Then he said there were Africans. That fought, nigga, nigga, who from Africa was fighting in the Civil War? The, 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 the Haitians and Africans fought in the Civil War to, to, to help free us from slavery. See, that's how you, 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 you see, you don't know what he's talking about. The, the Civil War wasn't to free the slaves, idiot. It was to keep the union together. So why would some Haitians and somebody all the way from Africa come over here to fight to keep the union, the white union together? That don't make sense. Stop lying, Dr. Umar. I'm starting to think Dr. Umar is an agent. Straight up. I'm starting to think he's an agent. Almost everything he says is anti-FBA. This fool be breaking his neck to K for groups that don't give a about foundational black Americans. Nor have they did anything as a group for foundational black Americans. But this nigga act like we owe them something. And at the end of the interview, he had the nerve to ask the people watching to send money to his cash app. For that damn school, he's he's, he's been planning to build for the past 25 years. So let me get this straight, Dr. Umar. The same people that you don't want to get monetary reparations because of the way they might spend the money. Those same people that you don't want to get no money, you want them to give you the little bit of money they do have for that damn school. It's taking you 25 years to to, to open. Once again, YouTube, this is not hate speech. This is my opinion. I haven't used any derogatory terms, YouTube. See, this is why we are delineating. And to tell you the truth, foundational black Americans are literally the last group of people on planet Earth to delineate. We are like, we are the only ones who didn't delineate. Name one group on planet Earth that, that didn't delineate. Name one, you can't. We, we showing up late to class. Like, damn, everybody in the class over. We, we showing up our, 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 we showing up our later uh, uh, delineation. We all late. Everybody, everybody else is playing, looking at us like we retarded. Like, damn, y'all just now delineating? Shit, the, the Italians delineating? The Irish, the Jewish? The, 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 the Sosa tribe? The Igbo tribe? The Fulani? The Jamaicans? The, everybody delineating except for us. But everybody, I like, we wrong for this. Man, y'all gotta watch this interview. I'm leaving the link in the, in the uh, description. 
I want y'all to go watch the, the whole entire interview. Subscribe to Marcel's page and don't don't comment on this video until y'all watch that whole interview with uh with Dr. Umar. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this page right here. Channel Raw TV. And uh, you know what? Dr. Umar, you just went full retard! Never go full retard.